Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Lincoln Mark 7 air suspension diagnostics. <laughs> about a year ago I had a contact with a guy who told me he'd owned something like 17 of these cars and he did not realize that there was an onboard diagnostic procedure for the air suspension system. Now it's good to know about this because the air suspension system on the Mark 7 is one of the most problematic parts of the car and if the air suspension system fails you can end up with it down on its knees and in a state where you can't even drive it. Gaining access to the diagnostic mode is a little bit like a video game cheat code. You're going to turn the key to run, then you're going to leave it in run for five seconds, then you're going to shut it off, then you're going to ground the diagnostic short plug on the air suspension system which is back here in the trunk. Then you're going to key it back on keeping the driver's door open and when you do that it should enter the diagnostic mode which should be indicated by flashing on the air suspension light inside the car. Once you get into diagnostic mode the car can run a series of 10 separate tests which I will put down in the description. I'm not going to go through all 10 of them uh, but I'll show you one or two of them so you get the idea of how it works and what you should be looking for. The first three tests are automated tests where they are going to raise the car until it gets an overheight signal, lower the car until it gets an underheight signal, raise the car until it gets an at height signal or invalid. If it gets a wrong signal or it doesn't or it fails to achieve the expected ride height within the test time, then it will flash an error code on the air suspension light in the cab and you can understand what's wrong with it and hopefully get on a path to fixing it. The first thing you should do when you start this diagnostic procedure is put a battery charger on the car. It is going to be running the compressor for quite a while and it can really drain your battery if you don't put a charger on it. So do that as a first step. Start with the air suspension switch turned on in the trunk and then leaving the driver's door open, turn the key to run for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Turn it off, leave the driver's door open. Then we'll go around to the trunk and ground the pigtail. We've got the switch in the, we've got the, switch in the on position and we're gonna feed this diagnostic pigtail up through this little hole here and ground it like that. Okay so now with the driver's door open we're going to turn the key to run one more time. Watch this suspension light. Okay you see that rapid flash? Now we're in diagnostic mode. To initiate the test sequence or to advance to the next test all we need to do is close and then reopen the door quickly while the test mode is active. Okay, the first test is the rear suspension test. Well, if you look, it is raising the suspension up. Then it should start letting the air out. Okay, you see that? It's letting it out. Then it should raise it back up again until it gets an at height value. And there it stopped. Okay, so it completed the rear suspension test and you can see that light is flashing a single flash. It's test number one. If it passes the test, it's going to indicate that it's on test number one by flashing a single flash. If it was on test number two, it would flash twice. If it flashes rapidly, it means it got an illegal sensor reading. If it lights continuously, it means it failed the test. So it passed that rear airbag test, everything looked fine. So the next test in the sequence is the right hand front test. You can proceed to the next test by closing and opening the door once. If the test failed, you can proceed to the next test by closing and opening the door twice within 15 seconds. So the rear suspension test passed. The next test in sequence is the right hand front. Let's close and open the door once.
there it raises that up till it gets over height then it bleeds air off till it gets under height then it raises it until it gets at height then it stops okay now the air suspension light is flashing twice which means that it's passed test two so if I close and open the door again, it'll run test three, which is the left-hand front suspension and so on, all the way through the 10 tests. The first three tests are pass-fail tests. So it's gonna give a uh, success or failure on the light. The remaining tests are tests that you have to observe as the technician to see if the behavior is as described. So I'm gonna list all the tests and what you should look for in the description. Uh, if you need to diagnose a Lincoln air suspension, this is the way. Hopefully that gives you a feel for how to diagnose the air suspension system in your Mark 7 using the onboard diagnostics. And hopefully that puts you on the road to a smooth ride. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos.